Y'all want to try this again? Big Ten football is back. And best believe nobody is more excited about that news than this once in a lifetime Buckeye team. What's shaking Buckeye Nation? I'm Blake Baker with OhioStateBuckeyes.com, breaking down the start of what should be a safe and special season for this Ohio State squad. It's definitely going to go down in the uh, history books for the way we fought back. And, you know, if we uh, end the season like we want to, I think it'll, we should definitely have a 30 30 for sure because, you know, at first we weren't supposed to, you know, have the opportunity to play, but we just fought so hard to get it back. Our team is stronger right now than it was on August 11th for going through this. And our young guys have seen what real leadership is. And now we're back on the field and play, it, it is an amazing feeling. And now they can go finish this thing the right way. And it's, you know, they kind of control their destinies. They move forward. And that's, that's all they ever asked. But they also wanted it safely because of all the hard work of everybody in the conference. Um, now they have the opportunity to do that. Same as the Big Ten's previous 2020 schedule, the Buckeyes will go to work against conference opponents only. Let's take a look. Nebraska was every bit as adamant about Ohio State to get Big Ten football back, and the conference rewarded them with a trip here to Columbus week one. And then a big one for the Buckeyes the week after that. On Halloween night, what would be the normal whiteout game for Penn State, that's going to be played in front of a limited audience, if any, at all. And if you remember November of last year, you remember a rough stretch to end the season for the Buckeyes. That month is a little more relaxed this year. They'll play three Eastern Division opponents before finishing the month with Illinois. Now, December is where it gets a little bit tougher. They'll be playing both those schools from that state up north. On December 5th, it's a trip to Sparty, where they've had success, but also some real close games. In December 12th, that is the big one against that team you love to hate, the game. And the Buckeyes are playing here at home. They hope to continue their recent dominance. And the week after that, they'll hope to go out to Indianapolis for the Big Ten Championship, where last year they became the first team in conference history to win three straight championship games, going for four in a row to end this regular season. Now that's all packed into nine weeks, and it's less than a two-week turnaround for the college football playoff after that. But the Buckeyes are not too worried about that. We'll play with depth. The times where we're going to have to play a lot of guys, but that's, that's okay. That sweet spot of you know eight nine games is, is a good number. Keeping our guys healthy and, and going into um, you know going into the season is going to be important. These next few weeks are going to be critically important. Our behavior now is more important than ever. You know I, I think that we're in, we're in a really good place and, and I think that season uh, is perfect actually. Now after a couple more recent announcements, the Buckeyes will hopefully be playing with slightly less depth. And that's because preseason All-Americans Sean Wade and Wyatt Davis are returning to the Buckeyes after previously opting out of this 2020 season. They want to be part of this team. They want to play with their teammates. And, and now the opportunity's here. Wyatt and Sean coming back, I just that just shows, you know, how much love there is on this team and how much of a brotherhood we really are. We want to play. They're, they're not forcing us to play. We want to play. And Coach Day has given us the option to opt out if we don't want to play. But everybody on this team wants to play and uh, hope to win a national championship. So that's our goal and that's what we're focused on. Buckeye Nation, here's what that means for you. You get to see three preseason All-Americans, three possible first round picks pick apart opponents. You get to see maybe the most talented freshman receiving class of all time. Justin Fields called them the most polished freshman he's seen with his own two eyes ever. And they get to line up alongside superstars like Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson and up and comer Jamison Williams. You get to see a deep Rushman room with real game experience at every position. You get to see a reloaded secondary led by Sean Wade, hoping to maintain their status as best in America, BIA. Best of all, you get to change your plans back to watching Buckeye football and spending Saturdays with one of the teams with a surefire shot at competing for a national championship. I can't be the only one this excited. And we're excited to bring you all the news on all things Buckeyes all the time, like we always have. For that, go ahead and check out our website at ohiostatebuckeyes.com and check out all of our social media platforms at Ohio ST Athletics. It's past time for these Buckeyes to ball. Stay tuned for all the fun this fall. Go Buckeyes.